out there and welcome to English Teacher Plays. We're here with Till the Dawn, I think. Hold on, we'll see. Maybe maybe it'll come up with a title in a second. Oh, it's based on a true incident. Dozens of pets were abandoned and left unable to escape as Hurricane Irma bears down. Okay. So we have some depressing piano music and based on a true story stuff. Right. I'm sure I'll remember what it's called later on. It's it's till the dawn. Waiting. Left waiting or something like that? It's something like that. So I'm this dog, I guess. <laughs> I like that I like that car. I wanna chase that car. Till the dawn waiting. Ah, oh, I had it. I knew what it was called. Alright. So this isn't released yet. This doesn't get released until January of uh, next year. Um, but I was contacted by the developer and asked to sort of do a pre-release view and etc. So full disclosure, this is a demo that I was provided by the developer. So there we go. So we've got this dog thing. He's a dog and he's stuck to a to a pole. Can I? I don't. Maybe I should have looked at the controls. Oh. Or where am I? Hey, this is kind of like uh, Far From Noise. Ooh, that's a lot of fade there. Okay. Uh, sure, David. David! Hello! I'm a dog! I already asked where am I. What is this place? <laughs> okay. I know I'm laughing, but the music is really uh, incongruent with me laughing, so maybe I won't do that. Maybe I won't laugh, you stupid game. Why am I tied up? Where am I? Man, he's like really concerned about where he is. Dude, you're in the desert. Get over it. Maybe get off your rock and look behind you, and then you can see. You know? Come on, do some stuff. David! I don't know why I'm yelling David, but that's fine. Let's yell for David. Get me out of here! So am I a person stuck in a dog's body, or am I a dog who's like sentient? I mean, you know, these are the these are the real questions we've got to ask ourselves when we're uh, when we're this dog. Oh, I lost my um my my pointer. There it is. It's very small. It's very small. I'm you know I'm playing on my 4K monitor, and the the pointer is very small. I can't see anything close. Well, you're only facing one way. We can't even see what you can see, so you telling me you can't see anything close doesn't tell me anything, because you could literally be like, ugh, whatever. We'll just not look at stuff. Yeah, this is almost identical to the uh, gameplay from uh, Far From Noise. There's lots of sitting and watching and waiting. Oh! Time for a fade. Fifty minutes later. That's a weird amount of time for it to be later. You know, fifteen, forty-five, an hour... 50 seems like... Does he have a watch on or something? Is he like... Is he a dog with a watch? This isn't home. That's true. Did your watch tell you that? It's like 50 minutes and I'm not at home. What's up, man? The pizza guy beat me there. Uh, I have never been to this place. Well, that's not... You're here now. With your watch. And your, and your leash that kind of detaches when you move your head. I guess, I guess, I don't know, I don't know, what, what are we guessing? Oh, wait! Uh, we were on a road trip to the Grand Canyon. We were on our way to State Park. To State Park. <laughs> yes! We were on our way to State Park. That's a real place. Not like Arizona State Park or whatever it is. Is this it? <laughs> awesome. Uh, but where is David? Yeah, where is David? Uh, oh! Time, time to bark and stuff. I feel like dogs just sometimes kind of go like, Time to bark! And then they do that. It's like, Roof! That's what my dog sounds like. He goes, Roof! So it doesn't sound like that at all. He's a weird dog. What is this? It's a bee. Or a hornet. 
or a yellow jacket. Hey! Uh, what? A talking bee? That's so weird. <laughs> Here, down below. No, I, I got that. I'm looking right at you. Right at you. Like, I know I don't have any eyes, but um, if I had them, they would be looking right at you. What do you call a little bee? Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know. A, this is a joke? A baby. <sighs> oh, okay, now. Okay, well, at least he knows. Thank you. At least he knows he's not funny. I can't really get to him. He's, like, just out of reach as well. You don't look like... You don't look from the wilderness, okay? No, I'm a dog. I have a watch and a leash. Looks like you need help. Yeah, well, I mean, just, like, come untie me. Come untie this leash and I'll, like, go somewhere. Wow, what's with the tone? I'm a bit weirded out. Not weirded out. I just... It seems odd that the, uh, the background is pixelated. You know, this is, like, reasonably high-quality visuals. You know, it's like that stylized, uh, geometric shape visuals. But then the background looks like it's the same stuff, but, like, zoomed out or something. You know, it's just... It, the, the the background visuals are not as good as the foreground visuals. And that's, uh, that's kind of a problem. So something they could work on before now in January. You wouldn't be here then. Look, I'm not helpless. Thanks, anyway. Uh, right, I'm lost. I'm sort of lost because I can't get down from this rock either. That's pretty evidence. I'm waiting for someone, okay? Yeah, so this is like, yeah, this is basically far from noise. It has the exact same aesthetic. Uh, it, I'm curious as, I'm curious to see if it's the same company. It might be. David. I'm waiting for David! I should have checked to see if it was the same company. But I guess I wasn't expecting this, you know, so... My owner, he'll be here any minute. Yeah, he totally will be. He's coming. Uh-huh. We're on our way to State Park. Which is where we're going. It's a real place, and I'm a dog, and I know what that means. Uh, yeah. This is it, right? Let's talk. You wish. This is far from nowhere. What? Doesn't even make sense. If it's far from nowhere, doesn't it make it somewhere? Uh, whatever. <sighs> Just some odd English idiosyncrasies. It's fine. Why do you think you're tied up? Uh, because I like this flag and I don't want anybody to take it. Yeah, you know everything. You're a bee and I'm a dog and I'm just gonna like chill here. Bye, bee. Goodbye. Ha, the bee left. But he'll be back. <laughs> So I kind of, so with far from noise, one of the things that was going on in that one is that you're sort of on the side of the cliff and there's like a little bit of action, you know, and you're sort of worried that you might fall over. This one I don't. I mean, I'm a dog and I'm tied to a flag, you know. Like eventually, I'm definitely gonna die of like exposure and starvation and stuff. But in far from noise, you're literally teetering on the edge of this cliff, and so it's like this constant kind of. Ugh. I'm not really getting that here. I'm just kind of like a dog. I'm a dog and I talk to a bee. I guess that's what dogs do. They talk to bees, right? That's a real thing. Is it another 50 minutes later? David. Barney, come find me. So, did I just hear that? Is that like... Ha. Huh. Okay. Uh... Oh, I'm a dog. Nice. This is, uh... I'm smelling around for, for a human. I'm fairly certain this isn't what dogs see, but, like, uh... It's an interesting way of um, making me feel ill. Okay. And... Ooh. I'm 
trying. I'm trying, man. Oh, I can see some stuff going on over there. There's a thing. Oh, look, it's a thing. I found him. Great. That was very artistic, I guess. But not... Yeah, I don't know. There's no person there. It was just like a cloud or something. Yeah. That's my breakfast right there. Grab a screenshot of that. Oh, no, I can't because I'm not playing it through Steam. <sighs> there we go. Got a screenshot. Just what I wanted. Okay. So I found him and I had some bacon and eggs for breakfast. Three hours later. Right, so I'm like remembering when I was like... Had some food and stuff. Row, 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 row. Row, 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 row. Yeah. Okay. Lots of fades to black. Seven hours later. Right. I'm kind of not down to watch this dog starve to death. I mean, that's just me. Like, it doesn't seem... I know that's like heartless of me because the dog deserves my attention, but... Yeah, I'm not... Right, this is a vulture now. Or something. Limp, tied, and strayed. Oh, I wonder how does it end? It won't. You come closer, man, and I'll bite your nurples off. Um... What do you mean, man? What do you mean? What are you talking about? Just striking a conversation with my prey. David is on his way, man. Or you already ate him. That's... I assume that's your owner. Uh, he's my family. We're best friends. We're like, yo. Is that why you're here all tied up? Nothing to eat? Come closer, man. We can solve that. See, the saddest thing about betrayal is it never comes from your enemies. Uh, I'm sure he's not too far. Indeed, he wouldn't have left a tempting meal for me. I mean, he did. I'm here. These principles of ours. What? What are you even on about, man? This is... Mm, maybe I like this one better. Uh, the thing is, we have to wait till our food is dead. Right. It's not principles, that's just like... Eh, whatever. Why don't we wait and see? So he's just gonna chill here? And wait till I die? Suppose that's fair enough. While we are waiting, let's try and cut short your time to your death. Yeah, so some of the, the phrases are just a little bit off. It's just like a... Uh, uh rude. So I just got attacked by bees or something. Attacked by bees! Are they still here attacking me? That would suck. I can still hear them. Hopefully they went away. Oh, time's passing. Yeah, see, the visuals are, like, not as good as they need to be. I wish you were here with me. Aww. I am so afraid. Yep. But I know you will come back. Yep, I would like you to know I appreciate... I appreciate what? Appreciate all the things you've done for me. Aww. Even this! Okay. Oh, I suppose there's gonna be a hurricane. That's why all the wind or something? Thank you for playing demo version. Right, that's the, uh... That's the end of the demo. We played through. And, uh, kinda, kinda seems like the dog died. But I guess he's not dead? Like, we don't actually see him, like, die? He's just kinda chillin'. So maybe the dude does come back. I'm wondering if we get credits or something. Or, or if the demo doesn't end. Just waiting for the demo to end. Now nah, let's just go look at the description.
All right, so this is Till the Dawn Waiting. Um, it tells a compassionate story and glimpses of the struggles and loneliness of pet faces, but still remains loyal. This is a dog, and that's what that's what dogs do. Um, and we we played through the whole demo, um, and it's not due to, to release until the 12th of Jan, 2018. I'm totally down for games like this, you know, where it's really narrative um, focused rather than gameplay focused, um, but with you know multiple endings and stuff. I, I, I kind of like this little section that they had here with the, uh, with the, you know, where you're trying to find your, your pets and stuff, but I, I don't know, like, it seems weird that, yeah, like, why can't he see anything? You know, dogs can definitely see stuff. Um, it's not just, like, purple clouds. Uh, so, maybe fix that. Um, it's a narrative-based experience unfolded from a perspective of an abandoned pet struggling between life, trust, and loyalty. Uh, make choices through dialogues and live the story. Story revolves around the pet named Barney that unknowingly suffers harassment as he is left outside in the middle of nowhere by his owner. Alternate endings based on the decisions you make. Beautiful landscapes and changing environment due to storms and rains. Minimalistic with refreshing low poly artwork. Soothing musical experience. Okay, so I'm totally down with the low poly artwork. You know, the, the, the boxy geometric sort of thing. Um, but, like, the whole thing needs to be like of a similar quality. So you're suffering some quality issues um, there. You know, make the, if we're gonna be staring at a screen and like waiting for things to happen and picking choices on that screen, the screen needs to be quite visually delicious. You know, there needs to be a reason for me to wanna sit there staring at it for, for a really long time. Um, at the moment, it's not, you know, at the moment there's not enough there to make me want to uh, keep staring at it. Um, yeah, and you know, like, going to black 15 hours later, five, 15 minutes later, or whatever, like, I understand, I understand why you're doing that, and it is a, uh, narrative technique that can work, but the problem is, is that, um, it is de-immersing, so, like, if I'm starting to feel for the dog, and then suddenly it's seven hours later, you know, I'm, I'm having to re-buy into the experience, so that's, that's an issue as well. Um... Other than that, you know, it's good. It's like, it, like I said, it's it's like Far From Noise, which I did a review of uh, earlier um, this year. Uh, you know, I'm down for more games like this. I don't know what the, I don't know what the price point is going to be. I think in the email they said it was going to be three ninety nine, which is a, uh, you know, assuming that the, assuming that there are alternate endings and that they fix some of the artwork and stuff, three ninety nine is a, yeah, that's that's fine. That's that's a good place to pay for this. I would probably pay $3.99 for this. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna leave it there. That's Till the Dawn Waiting. Um, it comes out in January of 2018, so that's, what, a month away? Um, and, yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you wanna, if you wanna follow them or add it to your wish list or whatever, check it out. It's on Steam. I'll put the description, or I'll put it, I'll put the link down in the description. And, uh, yeah. Make sure you like and subscribe, comments, all that kind of stuff. Class dismissed.